Crime Stoppers BPI announced that issues with the toll-free number have been worked out. The group held a luncheon at Marie's, Marie's by the Sea on Thursday afternoon to raise awareness, promote knowledge of Crime Stoppers, and gain public support. Walter Barrett has this report. Crime Stoppers BVI is once again on stream. This, according to Kevin Smith, chairman for Crime Stoppers BVI, who informed all present during Thursday's relaunch of the group that there were problems with the 800 number since it originally launched on Thursday, July 20th, 2010. Smith made a call to 800 Tips, the number for Crime Stoppers via which persons can anonymously and confidentially leave information that can assist in solving the crime. The live demonstration showed that the number is indeed up and operational. Let's put that number to the test. Hi, good afternoon. This is Kevin Smith, the chairman of Crime Stoppers in the BBI. I'm just doing a live test for a public and a supporting audience to show that the number is working. Thank you. The number is up and working. We are in business and we're ready to go. Newly appointed chairman of the BVI Chamber of Commerce and Hotel Association, Jamal Smith, said he believes there is a need for a young person under the age of 30 to be a part of the Crime Stoppers BVI board. That young person would be able to speak to the issue of youths within the territory, who he said are predominantly the ones carrying out crimes within the BVI. I think what he understands that crime is not something that we can tolerate in our community and we need to find ways to eradicate it for the betterment of not just our businesses but for all of us who live here and make this and call this our home. So I am proud to work alongside um, OJ on this and I mentioned to him today that the only thing that I would change and whatever he wants I would work with him in, in giving him that support from the BBICCHA as much as we can but the only thing I would ask is the one thing I would like to see on, on the board is for a young person to be appointed to that board uh, a person um, a, per, a youth <coughs> person under 30 um, who understands what is going on within the youth of this community and what is actually um, plaguing the society at this point and how we can reach out to them and connect to them in, in, in this society because the bulk of the problem that we are facing is um, coming out of, of an insurgency within the youth, a negative insurgency, not a positive one. And we need to find ways to address that. And I do hope that Crime Stoppers can get in, in, involved with that. Explaining that whether in the BVI or the UK, Crime Stoppers is in fact a charitable organization independent of the police force. Deputy Police Commissioner David Morris said that the information given to the group is passed on anonymously to the police, so they in turn can do the work they have to do more effectively. Crime Stoppers is an international organization. It has absolutely got nothing to do with police. Whether it's here in the Territory or in the United Kingdom or in the US or wherever, it is a voluntary uh, charitable organization. It is not a police function. Crime Stoppers helps the community. It forwards information anonymously to the police so that we can solve crime, take guns off streets, apprehend sex offenders, take the drugs off our streets, and help contribute towards keeping people safe in the community. Furthermore, Crime Stoppers offers an opportunity for people to be rewarded for their information. And this incentive is about trying to get people to come forward. Governor Boyd McClary gave some of the statistics of what Crime Stoppers has been able to do as a result of its existence in various parts of the world. According to the governor, over one million cases have been cleared and close to another million arrests have been made as a result of information passed on to Crime Stoppers. Since Crime Stoppers began in, in 1976, uh, 947,366 arrests have been made as a result of information passed to Crime Stoppers. 1,376,511 cases have been cleared. $101 million has been paid out in rewards. $2 trillion of property has been recovered. $10 zillion worth of drugs have been seized, and I go on. It's, uh, I don't even know what the next figure is after trillions and zillions. But it has been a hugely successful 
uh, means by which criminals have been caught globally. During the event, a donation of $375 collected amongst members of Rotary Sunrise in a matter of minutes was handed over to the Crime Stoppers BVI for the advancement of the work here in the territory. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.